Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's anniversary sale lunchtime live stream, Work Heroes, all about work. For those I have not met through this fantastic sale event, my name is Kate Bellman. I'm the Senior Managing Editor here at Nordstrom, and I am excited to be back today talking about my very favorite pieces on this anniversary sale for however you are going to work these days. Now, whether you're back in the office full time, like some of us are part time or still working remotely from the comfort of your own home, we can all stand to update our work wardrobes just a little bit. And what better way to do it than on a sale, limited time savings on these great work pieces, right? All right, now our anniversary sale for those who are just joining us for the first time, it is that very fantastic iconic event that happens once a year when we offer brand new arrivals from our highly sought after brands on sale at limited time prices. So believe it or not, we're towards the end. This has been going, it's been a marathon. Prices go up August 7th, so we only have a few more days to get all of this fantastic product on sale because prices will absolutely go up Monday, August 7th. Now, today's event is a live stream we're going to drop the link into our event style board in the chat now. So all the product I'm about to share with you today, it's completely shoppable. Add all of your favorite pieces to your cart. That is instant gratification, shopping at its best, right? Okay, so with that, I'm going to get right in and show you the fantastic product. It is all about returning to work. And first up, we have La Rossi, who is going to show us one of my favorite looks on this event. Hello, La Rossi. Pull together, I mean, I don't know who has seen Barbie the past few weeks, I keep referencing it because it feels so influential, so much fashion coming out of that movie, especially tweed sets. We're saw, seeing a lot of very high-end inspired tweed sets, tweed suits like we have here on the Rosie from Veronica Beard, this houndstooth double-breasted jacket with the matching dress underneath. So if it's a lot of look, you can absolutely break them apart, wear the jacket back to a pair of jeans, wear the dress on its own, or layered over uh, a blouse such as this one from Lafayette 148. And then the tall boot. I'm gonna have the, um, our friends at the camera zoom down a bit and catch her tall boot. This is definitely the time to buy a boot at savings, right? I know it might be hot where you are, but just think when it's now September, October, you're ready to go to your closet, reach for a boot, you have a brand new one that you are able to score on a sale uh, price back in July and August from the anniversary sale event. So scoop your tall boots now. This one from Mark J Jacobs, it's, or, I'm sorry, Mark Fisher, amazing. And the bag from Mark Jacobs, seeing a lot of that puffy leather continue throughout the fall season. So great time to buy from great brands like Mark Fisher. Thank you, LaRosie. All right, next up we have Jo, looking so boardroom chic. Love this look. She has the Reese black blazer, a similar version that I'm wearing in navy, the double-breasted. The blazer is going to be your essential item for the season, right? If you buy one item this season, I absolutely encourage it's the blazer. Super versatile. Here you see Joe's really dressed it up back to this Eliza J funnel neck sweater dress. So you're we're starting to integrate that sweater and knit dressing that's really important throughout the season. Back to her block heel pumps from Mark Fisher. These literally would go with everything from a more dressed up look as Joe is wearing. Back to a pair of denim. So such an essential uh, shoe for the season. But buy that blazer. See how Joe and I are wearing it very differently. Again, we're back to denim. So key item for the season, that blazer. Thank you, Joe. All right, next we have Terrence, because men should be shopping this sale too. It's not just for women, it's women, men's kids. We've got it all. Terrence looking so sharp in his Canali. I want to point out something really important about the brand Canali for those who don't know. This is not a mistake. As you can see, the stitching still intact on the jacket. That's because they're really uh, made to fit your body. So once you buy the jacket, Bring it into our tailoring department and they will sew the buttons on in a way that uh, best fits you around your arms and your wrists. So good little tidbit there from um, Canali. Full on uh, wool trousers also from Canali the brand and then this dress suede slip on sneaker. So love this idea of um, kind of dressing up from Santori back to the suede and the, and the pairing there. So fantastic looks. Thank you, Terrence. All right, next up we have Paul. I love this suit. It is one of my favorites on the event. I think it's been a while since men have had to wear a suit. Not many reasons to wear the past few years. So it's probably time to do a little suit refresh. Why not buy one on sale? Love this version from Emporio Armani. So chic, the color is so bright. 
Color is still important this ta in tailoring this season, but we're definitely seeing a transition to more monochromatic looks. So head to toe in one color, like this version from Emporial Armani. Love that little pop with the printed uh, dress shirt and the silk pocket square. And then all back to the penny loafer. Again, we're starting to see sort of that return and emergence in dress shoes from Oxfords to penny. So love this dark brown, really chic, really pulled together penny loafer here on Paul. Thank you, Paul. All right, next we have Tina Marie, no stranger to our live stream event. So love uh, Tina Marie here because we get so many questions around petite. So whatever Tina Marie is wearing, we carried in petite, great items to stock up on the event. Love these items from Theory. It's literally called the uh, shrunken blazer and that's because the fit is a little differently. So from what the blazers you saw earlier from Reese or what I have on that are a little more oversized or menswear silhouette, this one on Tina Marie is very uh, fitted, shrunken, uh, all sort of meant to be uh, much more closer to the body. Back to this halogen uh, vegan suede sleeveless dress. We're talking a lot about vegan materials this season, whether it's leather, also suede. And then that pointed toe booty, so essential, such a great item, especially in this little uh, burgundy brown, such a great way to kind of pop that outfit. So Tina Marie looking sharp and ready for the office. All right, next we have Paula. Let me tell you why I love this look. It's so versatile. I love all of the layers on it, especially for people who are still working from home. So this absolutely looks polished and on trend and ready to go into the office. But because it's a knit dress, this knit dress from um, Treasure and Bond and those bold stripes, she can wear it from a work from home setting and feel really relaxed quite casual, it's quite comfortable, and then dress it up for a night out or a weekend event or return to the office. So it's all about really shopping for those versatile pieces as we're heading back into the office. The jacket I wanna point out, it's All Saints. If you can believe it, it surprises me every year. All Saints absolutely known for their leather biker jacket. So it's a fantastic time to buy one. This is something you will have in your closet forever. They have carried this jacket time and time again. It's one of their most popular items. So to get it on a sale, I mean, nothing better. And then the print mixing. Pay attention to that little burst of uh, leopard print from uh, the Reese Silk Leopard Blouse. Back to those bold stripes. But what she's doing is she's really grounding it with one single color, which is the name of the game when it comes to print mixing. So focus on one or two colors, a very similar color palette, and go from there. All right. Thank you, Paula. All right, next we have Joseph. What I love about this look, I am all about the versatility. If you have watched our live stream events, you know how much I love versatility. For me, if it's one and done, forget it. I wanna be able to wear something multiple ways. So not only is he able to do that with his top pieces, um, his burgundy Ted Baker linen coat, the Nordstrom um, button down shirt, but pay particular, uh, pay particular attention here to the pant. These pants are from our Nordstrom made active brand, Zella. So they're actually something that you can wear double duty. That is our big trend for men for this season. We're going all double duty. Not just something you can wear to the gym or golfing or playing tennis, but it really functions as a work look as well. So thank you, Joseph. All right, next we have Zach. Get a lot of questions about denim in the workplace. Is denim appropriate? Pre-COVID, a lot of us reserved denim for casual Fridays, but we're seeing a really big shift now that denim is becoming a key piece as we're returning to work, particularly back to something like a blazer. You're gonna hear me say again and again, stock up on that blazer, invest in a really good one. Love this one here from um, Boss, both in the, um, kind of has that bold burgundy pop back to the grounded uh, dress shirt underneath. He's got his Paige Lennox Cliffgate jeans on. And then I love these shoes. They're sort of a hybrid between a dress shoe and a more casual version, this Chuck boot from Santoni. And then I've got to focus on the bag. Guys, time for you to get your own bag. Don't make your wife or girlfriend carry everything. Love this crossbody from Reigns. Reigns is a new brand on the event, so it's a great time to buy uh, a new item, like maybe an accessory for yourself this season. Thank you, Zach. All right, next we have Kristen. So 
You've been seeing the past few looks come out in burgundy. Burgundy is such an essential color as we head into fall, maybe one of the biggest, and then we're gonna go into bigger shades of red into October in the holiday season. But starting with October, August and September, really focus on burgundy as a must have essential color for the season. Love it here on Kristen in her halogen um, with the oversized cardigan sweater. Back to that bold print from uh, Maggie London underneath. Love this dress really cinches in her waist. We're seeing a lot of new focus and emphasis on the waist and those sort of hourglass silhouette shapes. And then getting a pop of burgundy in there with her uh, bag. And then um, the Mark Fisher pumps as well. This block heel pump we've seen previously in the black. This is the version in the red suede. Really gives it a little extra pop here to pull the whole outfit together. So thank you, Kristen. All right, we have our friend LaRosi again. Burgundy. So many ways to do this bold burgundy this season. I love this jacket from Blink NYC. Here's why, again, versatile, the name of the game. You could wear this really casual on a fall weekend with a cozy cable knit sweater and jeans and your boots, or dress it up as La Rossi did with her Vince Camuto um, knit belted dress. Knit dressing, really important as we've seen throughout this event uh, come through, and we're gonna see it in a bigger way into the fall. And then it's not just for your uh, clothing too. Burgundy and accessories and footwear pull together that one whole complete look as you see here from her uh, Kurt Geiger uh, Soho booties. So fantastic look on the Rosi. This again is something too, dress it up, dress it down. It's got a lot of versatility because it's the knit dressing and that oversized flannel jacket. Thank you, the Rosi. All right, a little bit more polished of a burgundy look here from Joe. I love this look. Again, I'm going to reference it again. All the tweed coming out of Barbie. It's going to be a really important material because of that influence this season. I love this jacket. It's so beautiful from Sam Edelman. Feels really sophisticated, really elegant. And we're getting a mix there on the two tweeds. So instead of print mixing, we're actually getting material mixing uh, back to the Eliza J cap sleeve dress underneath. Again, that fit and flare dress shape, which is really essential this season as we're getting that emphasis on the waist. And then the tan suede pump. So here we're pulling it together with the burgundy belt, but really neutralizing the shoes in uh, the tan suede pump underneath. All right, thank you, Joe. All right, next up we have Paul. Again, I love that blue. If you already have a black suit, a gray suit, a menswear check, Look for blue, man. This is really going to bring you forward in a new way. Probably something you don't have in your closet. Love this uh, version from Ten Baker. Again, we're mixing prints here a little bit, but we're sticking to one color palette. So you see that slightly different check in his David Donahue uh, dress shirt. Again, back to the Oxford toe shoe. So this is where we're getting dressed up in our footwear. Sneakers still important, still reasons to come out of the closet, but we're definitely looking for uh, dressing up our footwear wardrobe this season. So thank you, Paul. All right, next we have Terrence. I love this look because it feels very appropriate for definitely casual Friday if you work in a more casual office environment, but it's also really boardroom to the golf course. So we're teeing it up with our polo shirt, our knit up polo shirt underneath um, with our Vince black wool jacket over, ne or over the top, excuse me. So this feels very dressed up on top. This is absolutely something that we're ready to bring into the office. But where I really wanna focus on is the pant here from Adidas. So we have that slight textured utility gray pant. Again, double duty men. This is something you can wear into the office. It looks like a refined dress pant, but it really has the functionality and sort of sport utilities and active pants. So you're good to go into the office and then sneak out at lunch and hit a few, hit a few, uh, hit, the, hit the course. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much, Terrence. All right, next we have Paula. Here's where I wanna focus on Paula's look. As we're talking about tailoring, definitely the blazer, it is an absolute essential. We're starting to see this emergence of the sleeveless vest, right? The reason why is because there's so many ways to wear them, more so than in past seasons or when we've integrated in our wardrobe before. You can wear it sleeveless as Paula is doing here, this version from uh, Open Edit. We can wear it closed, obviously, especially the sort of the more cropped ones that go with like a three-piece suit. You can wear it layered with a blouse underneath or wear it open as uh, Paula is doing here. So love this version from Open Edit that we've paired back to the Vince sleeveless mock neck dress. Again, another really easy knit dress, which is great to wear. 
at home, whether you're working at home or have a hybrid office situation, because there's many different ways to dress it up, dress it down, accessorize it differently, throw a vest on over, and then back to the um, beautiful chic booty here from 27 Ed. Thank you, Paula. All right, Tina Marie, again, we have here with some print mixing. As we keep talking about print mixing, really where I want the focus to be is sticking with that color palette. So here, Tina Marie is focusing on this very autumnals and the blacks and the browns and mixing that floral and menswear print all um, here from Nordstrom main brand Halogen. So it's a great way to really look fall forward. That faux wrap blouse, we're going to see again on Kristen after, but you can see how flattering it is for a lot of uh, different shapes, body shapes, um, and occasions as well. So thank you, Tina Marie. All right, I wasn't lying. We have Kristen with another faux wrap option, also from Nordstrom made brand Halogen. Here it's with the dot blouse and the wrap skirt. Why I love these match sets is because you can pull them apart, wear them separately, wear this uh, dress back to a pair of wide leg trousers like I'm wearing, um, wear the skirt back to a different blouse or oversized sweater. Definitely getting a lot of versatility. It's also really easy to put together something like just throwing on your favorite dress. All back to that neutral 27 edit uh, Ferris toffee pump. Love that sort of high vamp there on the toe. It's very sexy, very chic. Definitely something we're going to see with heels uh, this season. So thank you, Kristen. All right. Next, we have Joseph. I have to say this rag and bone denim jacket, it is one of my favorite items on the event. I might have to borrow it from the boys because I love it that much. Really easy to throw on. It looks polished, but it looks a little more casual than your everyday work blazer. Love it back to that floral print. It really gives it sort of a fun pop. And then the Nordstrom Tech Smart Khaki. So there's a lot of functionality going on in these pants. They're very easy to wash and to care for. And then that leather sneaker. So I know many probably all have your white sneaker in your wardrobe. This brown leather is a great way to carry that forward, do a new version of sneaker in a kind of more dressed up way. So if you're not wanting to do a dress shoe, this is a great way to sort of give that appearance of something a little more dressed up. So thank you, Joseph. All right, next we have Zach, again, continuing to integrate the denim, this time through his shirting. So you can see it really takes his really dressed up um, boss suit and it tones it down a little bit with that sh uh, denim sheen. Great way to um, kind of change it off from your everyday, uh, just plain Oxford button up shirt, give it a little more personality. And again, that dress shoe, so important from the season. Uh, these are from Santori, we've shown them a few times but they're absolutely a great way to uh, take your dress shoe for this season. So thank you, Zach. All right, next we have LaRosi. For those who watched our very first, I believe is our wish list building live stream, we show this top shop suit in green. It's equally fantastic in tan, just depending on what your preference is or get both and mix and match them really pulled together. I love this blazer because it has the waisted belt effect. So we're looking for the updates in uh, blazers here. Look for these different design details. So this uh, belted uh, version is fantastic all the way down to her platform. So this is a great way to wear uh, suits and suiting in through the summer. Just keep it casual and summer ready with uh, platforms. Love this version from LaRude, one of our contemporary shoe brands first time on the event, so it's so great to see them out. And then all back to the, um, their, her coach bag. Love the neutral accessories here. We're talking a lot about quiet luxury. It's been a really influential trend this past season. It's going to ramp up even further in the fall. It's not going away. So La Rosie is definitely giving us that quiet luxury uh, vibe, especially with her treasure and bronze uh, print blouse. It really has that sort of equestrian heritage feel. So love La Rosie and her quiet luxury. All right, guys, one more look. One of my favorites, this one from Joe. You all know I love versatility. You all know I want to wear an item more than one ways. We have that within one single piece, this fantastic sweater coat from Lafayette 148. Wear uh, orange, and then I will actually take your beautiful tweed, Kirk Geiger. So tweed, not just happening in, uh, in apparel, but also in accessories and footwear. Voila, turning it inside out, you get a different version. So this jacket is so great. I see this really not only for the office, but for a parent's weekend, back to a pair of uh, twill pants or jeans. 
The denim skirt is really important this fall. See it back to that in some tall boots. You're going to get a lot of wear out of this Lafayette 148 jacket. It is one of my favorite pieces on the event. And so I like to end with one of my favorites. So thank you, Joe, for representing it. All right. That was a lot of looks. Thank you for staying with me. But I would want to see if you guys have any questions now that I've done all the talking. Let's see what we got. All right. What are some necklines you recommend for those of us still sitting behind a computer? Great question. It's, you know, there's a lot of happening with necklines right now, especially in terms of how you style it. So I'm sure you all have your typical button up shirt in your closet right now. Still relevant, take it out, but button it as low as you feel comfortable wearing for a work haul. And why I say that is because it's all about that open neckline and really laying with a lot of necklaces. We're doing a lot of necklace play, a lot of layering, get out your favorite vintage pieces, buy some new ones on the event to add on there. But it's all about sort of what's happening up there. Other great things going into fall, that sort of play on a cowl neck or a really severe funnel neck. So something that gives you a lot of interest kind of going on there in design detail. Um, those would be my two biggest recommendations. So great question. I commute, me too. I need a comfortable, I need a shoe that is comfortable, but also chic as I don't like to change shoes once I'm in the office. Thoughts? Absolutely. For me, it's the loafer. I wear a loafer all the time. I have several different versions from a really more clean, streamlined, polished one, a classic uh, kind of penny loafer, more of a lug sole, which really gives you a lot of kind of comfort and stability as you're walking. So the loafer is absolutely my go-to. Also seeing a lot of merging with flats as well. So whether it's a pointed flat, a ballet flat, you're gonna see a lot of ballet flats this fall. Um, these are all great options if you don't wanna change your shoe. I certainly don't. A flat boot is fantastic. We have some great versions on the event from Blondo. The reason I recommend a brand like Blondo is because many times it's water resistant. So if you have a commute, if you live in Seattle area like I do and you are commuting in some rainy weather elements, something like a water resistant uh, boot is going to take you from your commute into the office. No problem. Thank you for asking. Um, I know sneakers for work were big during the pandemic. Still acceptable, still acceptable. I mean, it always depends where you work. If you work in an office that is more dressed up, more polished, has a strict dress code, look around, read the room, read the boardroom, see what everyone's wearing. But I think a sneaker is, is definitely acceptable and sort of a new phased uh, key item in your wardrobe. I would say look for ones that are a little more lifestyle inspired, um, more so than something you might wear to the gym, but I think totally fine and appropriate as long as you're looking around your office and it feels, feels acceptable and relevant for where you work. Thoughts on men not wearing socks with dress shoes? Well, I never understood why this was such a controversial topic, but I get that question a lot. I hear that question a lot. I hear people have really strong convictions around it. I go two ways. I either want a really fun printed sock, so there's like a reason you're wearing it and showing it off, or I like the no sock. So those are my two opinions. Again, it is a very controversial topic, so do what feels right with, for you, but those are my two ideas. Either a really fun, like a pop print or a statement stripe, or no sock at all. That's what I recommend. That's all the questions we have. So. Thank you, everyone. That is all the time we have today. I cannot thank you enough for coming through this anniversary journey live streams with us every Thursday. I have had so much fun. I've had you, hope you've had fun and been inspired and done some shopping as I have done. So that's it. Remember, guys, we are getting close to the finish line. Prices do go up August 7th. So all of this fantastic product I showed, plus more. This is just a tiny glimpse of what's on the sale event. All goes up August 7th, so get shopping if you haven't already. And that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Take care. Happy shopping and happy anniversary. Bye.